well. Hi everyone and welcome to 5 Minute Fusion, a Who's That Anime podcast where Colin and myself, Steve, will take the journey through episodes of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, God Help Us, Dragon Ball Super and beyond. We're going to do them all in quick 5 minute summary as best as we can. Colin, are you ready to continue this journey with me? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. He says, yeah, it's time to move on, as always, to a brief synopsis of today's episode. Episode 58, The Land of Corrin. In the Land of Corrin, Captain Yellow finds another Dragon Ball in a volcano crater. Near a massive tower that reaches the sky, Bora and his son, Upa, are fishing. As Captain Yellow's men retrieve the Dragon Ball, the volcano erupts, Bora gets hold of the Dragon Ball. As Yellow Yellow and his men land, Bora demands they leave. When they see him carrying the Dragon Ball, they attack him, but Bora resists. Bora kills a grenadier who comes up from behind him and beats down Yellow's men. Yellow kidnaps Upa to blackmail Bora. Goku arrives in time to defeat Yellow and save Upa, who is able to ride the Nimbus. The Dragon Ball Bora has is the very one Goku has been looking for. Meanwhile, the guards of the Red Ribbon Army base hardly recognize General Blue on his arrival. Commander Red has summoned the infamous Mercenary Tau. Colin, what did you like about this episode? Oh, I put Big Fish. Big Fish? Yeah, so um, Bora and his son's fishing and the fish comes out and then Bora... Basically, does he kick the fish into the cliff face? Anyway, just kind of like, oh yeah, kind of comes out and he just like swats it into the fish, and he's like, "Ha ha, you are no real danger, son." <laughs> all right, because I murdered this fish. I, yeah, we got the fish. That's all good. Bait. <laughs> I uh, I liked Blue's tiny umbrella he had in the desert. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Is it the start where he's on the camel? All right. <laughs> He's got this like tiny, tiny little dainty umbrella <laughs> trying to keep away the sun. Oh, trying to keep ruining his hair. Oh, yeah. In fact, I think he did say he needed conditioner or something like that. He did, yeah. <laughs> um, what uh, what didn't you like about this episode? Oh, the accents. Uh, accents for. Yes! Uh, General Yellow. Oh, I, I mean, they're all not good. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> he's yeah. also but Captain Yellow. Captain Yellow. Uh, you know he's also a tiger. Yeah, he looks like a tiger. Um, yeah. Do you ever of uh, Captain Scarlet? Oh yeah, the Mesterons. And they ha- they all had like yellow titles, color based names. Captain yeah. Scarlet, Captain True. Yellow. Anyway, the one example of bad accents that I took note of was complete my plans. <laughs> Oh, I need to complete my plans. Oh yeah, yeah. I got I got some laugh for this episode. <laughs> Astounding, <laughs> Astounding. <laughs> uh, what do we now know? Uh, Gerald uh, Tau's uh, is very fearless. The, the the mere thought of his name um, sends chills down people's. Thing. Even meeting them, he defeated people by just even meeting them, I think. Yep. Uh, there is a. I have noticed that uh, Bora is in fact bulletproof. Yes, he goes he through and say, Bullets are but toys. And then throws a <laughs> spear. Didn't... Yeah, but he. It, yeah, because he straight up murders a guy. Yeah, mur- I think that's the first, like, proper. Oh, that man is dead. Like murder, murder. Oh, you don't, we've had. Don't really see it because it's hidden behind a tree. But the the guy is speared onto a tree. Oh, he is. Yeah. He's he's not in good good condition. No. Um. There's a big tower. Oh yeah, it's Corin's tower. The tower of Corin. Yeah, Corin's tower. I, I meant to ask: Is this where you got your your username? <laughs> no. <laughs> just just coincidence. It's just coincidence. Oh wow. Yeah. How about yeah. that? About that? Uh, uh, the lesson behind everything is is that we should respect nature. Yes, respect nature. Um, I I did have a note on the fishing that says that you 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 know you can fish with your fists, and also the upa is actually like kind of like hand fruit sized as a child, because Bora just keeps picking him up and like putting him on his shoulder <laughs> like a parrot. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, Bora is humongous. He is enormous. That's time up for this one. We will be back next time to discuss more Dragon Ball. So until then, it's a goodbye from me. A uh, goodbye from me. Bye, folks. Bye. Bye.